The Arctic is warming at several times the rate of anywhere else on Earth. This rapid climate change is most evident through drastic Arctic sea ice loss and permafrost melt. Native communities in the Alaskan Arctic are being faced with eroding coastlines and thinning sea ice that threaten their homes and traditional hunting practices. My environmental and analytical chemistry research focuses on deploying novel instruments to the Arctic on the tundra, icebreakers, and aircraft to investigate the chemistry of the changing air. In the Arctic, state-of-the-art models struggle to predict atmospheric composition, cloud formation, and precipitation, yet the, these models are critical to predictions of the future climate. However, the models are limited by the very small number of measurements conducted in the Arctic. This is in part due to the logistical challenges of Arctic measurements, the extreme cold, 24 hours of darkness during polar night, unique animals, polar bears, walrus, seals, and the low concentrations of gases and particles that make up the air. My research group has developed a unique capability to overcome these challenges and has measured many gases in the Arctic atmosphere for the first time. For example, explaining the drastic removal of the greenhouse gas ozone and toxic pollutant mercury from the air in the springtime. Beyond our unique field measurements, I'm committed to innovative teaching and inspiring the next generation of scientists and engineers. I developed a novel introductory chemistry laboratory course that involves a semester long authentic research experience studying Arctic snow chemistry. Education research shows that student confidence is gained when they feel like a scientist. And my hope is that this new approach to teaching general chemistry will inspire the students that come into my classroom. The majority of the students are female, unlike the traditional chemistry class. So we're doing something unique and exciting that's inspiring this young generation and has an opportunity to impact STEM retention. Outside of the classroom, my environmental chemistry research group actively participates in public outreach and science advocacy efforts. I'm also collaborating with a chemical education researcher and the only science faculty member at Ilisavik College, the only tribal college in Alaska, located in Ukavik, the northernmost point in Alaska. Together, we are developing a curriculum that integrates traditional knowledge from the Inupiat community with our modern science approach for Arctic snow research in the introductory science classroom.